Um, so today I have my 814 CE Grand Auditorium Deluxe B Class Taylor guitar with me and I want to show you guys um, like how it looks and um, how it sounds like. I've had this for two years and this is my um, take on how I feel about this guitar. So this is my um, third guitar. The first guitar I ever had was this sparkly pink one that was like around like $400. It was a, I don't even know what brand it was, but it was a sparkly pink guitar that I got from this guitar shop in Macau. Then my second guitar was the Taylor um, 114CE. Oh, it is a beautiful guitar. I'm going to try to show it in a way where the ring light won't be like disturbing you guys. I love this guitar, just look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? So sorry about the ring light. I'm gonna try to avoid it. It's a beautiful guitar. I've had this for two years. I bought it at a local retail store. I love this guitar. I absolutely love it. And let me tell you, this was a huge upgrade from my previous guitar. My previous guitar, as I said, it was the um, 114 CE Taylor, I forgot the full name, but 114 CE. I still remember when I went to the store and I was trying out all the different guitars because I was looking for an upgrade, right? So I was looking for anything that was above the 114 CE. And when I played this, actually, there was another one that was 814 CE, but it's like a few hundred dollars cheaper or like, yeah, it was a few hundred dollars cheaper due to the fact that it didn't have this, sorry about the light, it didn't have this extra design here, which is this little, um, I don't know what you call this, I'm so sorry, I really don't. Um, but yeah, it would be like a few hundred bucks cheaper. I got this because it was, it was beautiful. But I remember when I, I first played this, I was like, wow. Like, I was amazed by how the sound just resonated the whole room. It just, it, it filled up the room. It was like it's super rich sound. If you've ever played the 114 CE, and after you've played that for like the last 10 years of your life, suddenly you pick up like a 814 CE, the, the reaction and the excitement you get is Plucker. I am a strummer, so I, I don't I don't I don't even know how to pluck. I don't even know how to do like the I don't know how to do that. But my main style of playing is strumming. So yeah, I absolutely love this guitar. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Just hey, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? She's so beautiful. She's beautiful. Beautifully crafted guitar. Beautiful sound, amazing. I'll take off my bracelet so that I can stop clanking it and destroying it. Today, I brought this guitar out to well, talk about it. I'm not someone who's very technical with guitars. Like, I don't really know what's going on. I do kind of know as in like, I know what wood I'm purchasing, you know, but I don't have a deep dive like information about why this guitar is amazing. Like, I can't tell you like information that is, um, I don't know, technical. I can tell you. I feel about it though. <laughs> I can't tell you what it actually is. It's spruce top, super beautiful. Um, this guitar does come with a case that is retailing for like 200 and 
I don't, I don't remember, but if I'm at around $234, I'm gonna go, go and correct down. It comes with a deluxe hard shell case. So this is the hard shell um, deluxe case that it comes with. It's super sturdy and super heavy though. It's definitely not <laughs> travel friendly at all. Just not, completely not. Um, super pretty red velvet interior. Well, yeah, it's, probably, it's not real velvet, but like, you know, this velvety interior and has this compartment to put in your guitar tools and picks and um, capos. Super heavy. So that's all I have to say about this guitar, the 814CE. This is the 2020 edition, by the way through information. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the video um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.